What's up, Block Fam? Headed out AIM Expo, taking the bike back to Iron Pony. I don't know if I trust my phone there. I guess I don't really have a choice, though. Man, t absolute ton of bikes. Man. Put it there. Um, I gotta put it there. And pray to God it doesn't fall off. I guess we'll see how this rock form thing goes. Skirt. Yeah, it's holding on good so far. The magnetic phone case. Oh man, I want a freaking FZ09 now. Damn it. That's what they were trying to do whenever they lent me this bike. They're like, yo. They did the research they knew previously that I was looking at FZ09s or like had ridden one and liked it. So they were like, you know what? Let's lend Blockhead an FZ09 and see if he'll buy it from us. Good move, Iron Pony. Good move. Man, how the frick high up here were we? This is what, the third story? So we're on. Yeah, I was on the sixth story. Thank you. Dude, this rock form, like phone case, holy hell. Can't believe it's holding on. I'm really expecting to like lose my phone on this, <laughs> but it's doing good. Ooh, it's moving a little bit. No, stay. Man, this is so not cool. There you go. Columbus, Ohio. Oh shit, what's your microphone? Staying left, sorry. I'm just gonna leave it in six gear until I get where I need to go. Six miles. Dude, I'm really impressed by this mountain right now. This is definitely a testament to like some rock form. You guys are just in scooping up a rock form phone mountain case. The case has this magnet built into it, which is basically allowing me to do this right now. I mean, it would probably hold, but I'm just, I really don't want to lose my phone right now. If I were to, I'd be totally screwed. But I don't know directions to this place. I don't have a scent on this helmet, so I'm kind of halfway holding it. But if you guys use Blackhead Moto 25 as your discount code at Rockform's website, rockform.com, you get 25% off everything there, including this case and the phone mount that goes along with it so you don't have to use the magnet to magnet it to the tank. Anyways, hey, I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, Ohio episodes. Like this is, this like ride back is kind of like a decompressor for me, man. It's been go, 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 you know? We did the meet, we did the show. Last night we, uh, we did the party. So this is kind of like a, uh, you know, riding for me, even though I'm having to worry about this phone. So I would love to be able to know where I'm going and just rip through all these cars right now, but <laughs> you know, especially on a bike that I don't normally get to ride. But, yo, this bike is, dude, I, I, I kind of want an FZ09 now. What do you guys think? I think I should do an FZ09. This thing is pretty badass. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, let me know what you think. Post down below. So this is like the downtime in between uh, stuff right now because I gotta be back to, downtown after dropping this off in 30 minutes from oh man is it 3:36 right now i don't know if i'm gonna make it they've got a rider meeting at four o'clock basically a rider meeting for uh carrie hart which i really want to do to be able to say i raced electric flat track against carrie hart because that's that's badass dude it's crazy seeing all the rust damage from, uh, from cars up here because you know you guys have snow and uh, salt on the roads that doesn't doesn't happen in Florida just seeing all these cars eating yeah look at that rust damage ooh brutal I have no idea where I am should have installed my scent on this helmet before I left Florida oh well Yo, I talk shit about the roads in uh, Orlando all the time. Construction. This stuff's kind of rough too, man. Look at all this. Not the best. Being on a motorcycle for the second time ever that you've never been on before. Alright. 
0.7 miles. Take a right. Is that right? I guess I'm just showing a right lane. Man, we just went to this fuzzy taco shop. Like, we, we got him in Orlando, too. But, man, it was not good. The one downtown, Columbus, not, not good. They were out of chicken. So, normally, I get fajita chicken, tacos. They did not have any chicken. No, no fajita chicken, no shredded chicken. So, I got, the, I got the beef, and it was way too salty. Chips were cold. And, yeah, the tacos came out like they weren't very warm. Like, the, it was kind of, meat was kind of cold. And wicked salty. But enough about me complaining about food. This trip thus far, awesome. Oh my God, it's this riding right now. Being able to sit and get off of my feet, amazing. Because anyway, I should do like a test ride like style video on this, right? All right guys, this is the FC09. It, uh, it's basically like a naked sport bike from Yamaha. Pro tapered bars, some bar and mirrors on it. I don't think those are stock. Yeah, there's a little baby windscreen in the front, so it is very windy. It is a naked upright, so meaning sport bike, naked, no fairings and uh, upright so you're sitting upright instead of being in that more like sport by positioning which is pretty comfortable i'm a fan it is very windy though as you guys can probably hear from the wind noise 1.1 mile why don't, why don't you tell me what exit it is guy come on but yeah like seriously i am highly considering this i mean it is dude i'm just sitting straight upright man it's so comfortable it's crazy so much power crazy such lean angle crazy where are you going get back up now all right uh, 0.4 miles it says right it doesn't say exits what the hell is wrong with you 800 feet yeah, yeah, yeah okay and then i'm assuming i'm going to the this way because it curves to the this way but there's no exit numbers man what the hell yeah love this mm. damn it i don't know you guys let me know what y'all think if an fc09 punk came to the channel give me your thoughts beautiful man look at that like how the rays are like coming through the the clouds it's craziness it's good it's good just what i needed you know, this is so weird. There's no like stop signs or... I hope I'm in the right place, man. Ah, oh, that was it. Whoops. Nobody behind me. Bust a U. All right, give me a second. Neutral, yes. This. End route. In pocket. Go. Go in pocket. Oh my god. Oh my god, guess. That's <laughs> it. <sighs> Done deal. As much as I don't want to give these keys back to you guys, I've been told to give them back to you guys. <laughs> that bike is freaking awesome. Absolutely loved it. The only thing that I personally would do is different suspension in the front. Yeah. It's really spunky for Yeah. Yeah, it did kind of, going over some of the bumps on the interstate and stuff, it did kind of feel like it had a bit of back and forth. One of the other techs has an M210. Nice. Oh, dude, that thing's scary. I've ridden that before. He let me ride it. He got Yeah. Doing intoxicated one night. Nice. So, back up at the expo. Um, Totally forgot to put an ending on that episode. Got an Uber back and um, yeah, coolest Uber driver ever. Seriously, I left him like, actually it was a Lyft driver, my bad. But yeah, I left him a good tip. Freaking awesome. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that episode. We're having a meeting here for flat track racing uh, at like six o'clock and then we're gonna be racing flat track Carrie Hart. That'll be its own episode. So hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I'm freaking beat, but the show must go on. So hope you guys enjoyed it, if you did. Hit the like if you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Two fingers, right? It still counts. Peace. Alright, later.